everyone FT here and I got a package just delivered from China Post and I believe it's uh, military ration so let's take a look see what's inside the box yeah there we are I don't know much about this one yet, but uh, I'll do a bit of research on it. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Let's see what we've got inside. So we've got some sort of energy drink and a very nice pouch. Stands up on its own, it's pretty good. Now according to my translator, which I'm sure is wrong, this is called liquid rods for the efficient supply of energy. We've got these food bars. There's one. This is a type 2 food bar. Type 1. Type 1. Type 1. Type 1, this is a type 2, this is a type 2, this is a type 1, and then we have this powdered drink pouch, which basically across the top here actually says functional granules for thirst and energy. Here's the date, 5th of the 6th, 2017. The instructions on how to use this and the contents are here. Roughly translated, the instructions for this say, tear the package along the top and open the zipper. Pour drinking water into the bag and fill to the line. Fasten the zipper, shake it, and open the lid to drink, which I suppose they mean the spout. If you have not finished drinking, you need to tighten the lid to keep it fresh. Drink within 24 hours. So the translation of these Type 1s are basically solid bar smooth absorption, continuous energy supply. And the translation for this one this is 33 gram bar so there's three of those. These are 75 gram bars, the Type 1, and there's six of those. So going back to the packaging, on the back here, again this is sort of uh, general information here, and it basically says the special combat food uses a military solid stick as the backbone, and the functional granules with high energy supply and the liquid stick directly sucked can meet the special needs of the war fighters to quickly replenish energy and nutrition under extreme conditions without drinking water. The product features small size, high efficiency and convenient use.
So on this other side of the pack, it's got calorie information, etc. So what this one is saying is that this has 9,290 kilojoules. It has 370.9 grams of carbohydrates. It has 138.7 grams of proteins and it has 19.2 grams of fat. And this bottom bit along here is Beijing Kangbit Sports Technology Co Limited. So let's get this ready. Okay, so here we are. Now, doesn't look very good at all really, does it? Just these packets of things. So first of all, I've taken one of the Type 1 bars, one of the Type 2 bars. So there are five Type 1s left over there. And there are two type two left over there. We've got this um, ready-made drink in the pouch and we've got the drink we're going to mix up. Now, I've got a glass out because I thought it would be good to see what the colour looks like and to see if we can get an aroma from these liquids. So let's start off with this. I'm basically just meant to suck it out of the tube. Give this a good mix up. That looks brown and gunky actually. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm going to make out of this. Mm. Uh, does not look appealing at all. <sighs> yeah, it's got some... <sighs> it's almost like bad orange. I don't know if I'm going to have this. Let me just try it. Just a little sip. Oh, it does not smell good at all. In fact, it smells like a, a multi... a malt type drink that's gone wrong. Malt and orange mixed up, maybe? It's very bitty. Look at the side of the glass. Hmm, well... Okay, it's quite thick, so it might actually be gel based. It's not an unpleasant taste. It's a fruit taste, but I can't pinpoint the fruit. Pear? Could be a very mild pear. It's, it's very weak. But you know what? That's not bad. It's nothing to write home about. But it does have a certain thing going for it. Definitely refreshing. But it's it's like a very weak pear with a orangey tint. Let me try that and get out of the packet. I don't know, but it's not unpleasant. So let's make this drink up. Now what I've got here is a brand new bottle of water. I've taken the label off, so I cannot be accused of advertising. Uh, I poured out 100 millilitres of water, leaving 400 millilitres in the bottle. So let's prep this. So this, to me, the shape, apart from this drinking outlet here, looks exactly the same as an American MRE cappuccino packet or anything. So based on that and the instructions provided, we're going to rip the top off. Open the pouch. Just easier said than done, it's quite tight. Let's get the lid off this. Get that water in there. Oop, that's full. Again, quite a multi smell coming out of that. Okay, that's pretty much done up.
Alright, so I'm going to swill this glass out. Oops. Okay, now this doesn't have anywhere to stand. So if that seal were to go, you, can't, you have to lean this up against something. Okay, this is a total different colour. It's more, dare I say it, lemony looking. It has next to no aroma or bouquet at all. I think I think it's lemon. Very mild. It's a very mild but sweet lemon. It's not bitter or sharp. It's very sweet. Yeah. So not bad. So let's now look at the food. So this is food bar one. Okay, we've got a little oxygen absorber in there. Smells of mud. <laughs> Wet mud. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. No, Will Robinson. Danger. Hmm. Now, this black stuff could be mould. Hmm. Not sure about that. So what I am going to do is open up another one. See what it looks like. Yeah. This one smells of shortbread. This one smells of mud. Now, look at this. Compared to this. Okay, if you're doing ration tastings, those of you who have done it long enough will know, but if you're getting into this, please, please be careful. Use your senses. My nose is pretty crap, but I knew there was something not right with this. It tastes of wet mud, just, a, just mud. And that black just rang alarm bells. Do not eat me. Fortunately, there's another, well, I've got another four packets I could possibly open. This smells like shortcake biscuits. So this is a tight one bar. Break a bit off, but it's quite pliable. Let's try a bit. Okay, it's very chewy. It does not taste like like it smells. It smells of shortbread. Hmm. That's interesting. The more you chew it, the better it tastes. First bites are not good. But it gets a fudginess to it. Very chewy. I like the chewiness of it. It gives you a very subtle fudge flavour. Mm. So the first bites you take, you've got quite a nasty flavour there. And I couldn't describe it to you, I'm afraid. But the more you chew it, that goes away. And then you, more, you get this biscuity, fudgy, yeah. That's okay. I can eat this. No, this is going in the bin. I mean, it's ridiculous. Not good at all. This is okay though. This is good. Hmm. 
Let's pull a bit more of this out and try them together. Mm. Wow. This stuff could last forever when you chew it. Mm. Yeah, definitely a malty, some malt, fudgy, shortcake, but it's very mild. You have to seek it out. So that's your type one. Let's move on to this type two now. Fingers crossed that this is in good condition because there's only another two of these. Right. Well, it's going to be hard to tell, isn't it? Because of its coloration. <laughs> Well, first off, wow, aren't they different? This one feels like Rice Krispies, compact Rice Krispies. No uh, smell to it at all, where this one had a... and still has a, like a biscuity aroma to it. Let's see what this is like. Oh yeah, this is quite sticky, this one. Quite sticky. There's this cross-section to it. Uh, they look like little balls all stuck together. Let's give this one a go. Well, this one's a little bit harder to eat. Not as in it's hard, but all the balls separate in your mouth. You end up with a mouth full of tiny little granules. Very sweet, much sweeter than this one. Mmm. Quite bizarre. You see the little balls. Mmm. Okay, while I'm eating this, I'm going to run up a list of the uh, ingredients of this one. This one, I can't give you a flavour. It's way better than this. Way better. They should have six of these and three of those. It's sweet. I want to say chocolate, but that's because this is dark. Like, it's not there. It's like a very mild, some sort of cereal bar, of course. This one's really, really quite good. But it's a flavour... I'm not used to it. I don't know. I can't describe any flavour. I suppose it's like eating a Rice Krispie square. That's the nearest I can compare it. And this one is very fudgy. Let's see if I can have a bit more of this. And while I'm eating this one, I'll run the ingredients of that up for you. Actually looks like C4. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is your main. Definitely your dessert. You eat two of these and one of these each meal, and that would give you your three meals. This to me is lemon. Someone else, it might be something else. It's very, very sweet. It's very, very mild. But not unpleasant. And this one. See if it's mixed any better. It's definitely more jelly like. It's absolutely thicker than it is. It's definitely a pear. Again, to me, it's definitely a pearish, pear type drink. Okay, so that's it for that. To have two of those and then follow up with that, we'd be here for a couple of hours. So I will finish those off. The rest at the back there, I will keep. I'll keep these bars and these bars and consume them throughout the months to come. The drinks will be consumed today, as will the rest of this. Uh, in fact, I'll finish that off now. And if any of these come up like this, I will add them to a video just to keep you all updated. 
but on a serious note you can make yourself extremely ill. The date of this one for instance was 2017. It's now only coming up to spring 2018. There's no reason on this planet why this should be in this state. The warning signs were there, it didn't smell right and it certainly doesn't look right. So please take that piece of advice, check the food out in ration packs every time you get one. So it seems uh, I'm looking for the hat trick now. My uh, dinner, my Polish dinner was ruined. That's on a video if you want to go and see that. And now I've got a black mould, dry mould, some sort of squishy energy bar. Anyway that's going in the bin. So thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. Be very careful on what you decide to eat. And I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.